no cave. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a cave in space was dangerous. Scientists now say one could be a promising site for a lunar base. So we speculated for a long, long, long time, uh, but now having this what seems to be a good confirmation of it, you sort of do start to look at the moon a little bit, a little bit differently. A renewed space race is underway, with countries looking to return to the moon to mine the rare elements scientists believe are there. The cave, in what's called the Sea of Tranquility, which is actually a plain, could help. It's about 100 meters wide and looks to be about 100 meters deep. There's a conduit underneath it, and astronauts could live there, sheltered from the radiation and meteorites and harsh extremes on the surface. That's one small step for man. It's only about 400 kilometers from where Neil Armstrong took our species' first steps on the moon, and it could help launch us further. The Artemis program, which includes Canada, aims to return to the lunar surface by the end of the decade, and then to the red planet, where scientists have spotted around a thousand caves. Mars does not have a magnetic field to block a lot of that harmful solar radiation. So going either underground or into a cave sort of system does give you that added protection. The findings come from a new analysis published by the Nature Journal, and the Italian research team calls for robots to explore the cave. That's likely still years away, but finding a safe place to live on the moon could be a foothold to step among the stars. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.